Where are you from? I'm originally from White Plains, New York. And how did this happen? How did you become this rapper? Well, basically, I wasn't always religious. I was raised in a non uh, Orthodox Jewish family and uh, listened to reggae music growing up in high school like any high school kid and then later on I became religious um, about three three and a half years ago and then recently started doing the music again now do you get criticism from like the like the Orthodox part of your I mean religion and right. from people that are very conservative not so doing much this? not so much the Lubavitch Rebbe was saying you should go out into the world and turn the world over and you should try and help people co to connect to godliness Fall. It's a pleasure to have you here and to tell this is a, a, what many consider to be a remarkable story. The, the blending of, of Orthodox Judaism with, with reggae. Where did this come from? Um, I guess uh, it's kind of the coming together just in my life. You know, I'm, um, I first started listening to reggae music like as a teenager. I was about 14 years old or so. And um, one of the initial attractions that I had to it was obviously the music and everything that goes along with reggae music when you're 14 years old but um, like the references to all these like biblical things and things that um, were familiar to me in some way and it was kind of um, like I was trying to figure that out like the only time mm -hmm. I'd heard the word Zion or um, Judah, Lion of Judah was in Hebrew school and then when I started hearing it in reggae music, it, it made me much more interested in in my own kind of culture and where I come from and all that. So, and you, did the road to orthodoxy begin before the appeal of the music or around the same time? Or did, did they have anything to do with one another? Well, um, I think, yeah, in a certain sense they did, um, in the sense that sort of, I think music in general kind of opened me up spiritually to to questioning and 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 looking searching and, and whatnot um, which eventually led me to kind of coming to the place where deciding to become religious you know so it was a bit of a spiritual journey the music was was spiritually oriented right. as well and that kind of just led you back to a more observant form of Judaism and I sort of got into that into Chabad to Lubavitch and I moved to Crown Heights I went to um, I went to yeshiva there for a couple of years, where I really took that next step of like sort of divorcing myself from totally from popular culture, and just studied Torah for about two years. And then um, on Simchas Torah, which is a holiday, I walked to Crown Heights when um, from from Upper West Side. Then the next morning I went to the shul there. And they were singing the Nigunim, like the songs from the Hasidic dynasty of Rebbe's. And thousands of people kind of like packed into this shul. And the songs, I felt like something kind of come over me. And I felt like, okay, like something kind of took me. Like I didn't have really a choice. I was being like carried away by those songs. They like speaking to me. And... I felt I needed to play. And you have a CD coming out, I understand, in early September called Shake Off the Dust Arise. Very quickly, any strong religious messages that are going to be coming through in any of the songs? Well, the basic like idea is um, those lyrics are taken from a song called L'cha Dodi, which we sing on Friday going into Shabbos. And the idea is to shake off the dust of the week and shake off all the problems and arise and spiritually arise. And I think that's like the general message on the whole CD is like shaking off all of the spiritual problems and blocks and things holding you back and really rising to the occasion and letting your well, neshama, great. your soul connect. To your